The Tide Signature RV Resort by Zeman is located in beautiful Palmetto, Florida. Palmetto is a waterfront community located on the Gulf Coast of Florida, midway between Tampa and St. Petersburg to the north and Sarasota to the south. The Tide Signature RV Resort offers spacious landscaped sites and luxurious amenities. Today we are here to meet with Rick Hendrickson, Brand Ambassador at the Tides. Rick has a wealth of experience navigating large motor coaches and fifth wheels and is likely one of the first members of the Tides you will meet upon your arrival. Rick will personally guide you to your site, assist in parking, and answer any questions you may have upon your arrival. Today Rick is showing us what that process looks like and talking all about what it means to be a signature RV Resorts by Zeman brand ambassador. Hi, I'm Rick Hendrickson. I'm an ambassador slash spotter at the Tides RV Resort here in Palmetto, Florida. In my Florida. career, I've had nine uh, fifth wheels. I've had two Class A motorhome diesel pushers, and I've been doing this line of work uh, off and on for 35 years. I've worked for state parks. I've worked for uh, RV parks. But my favorite is working for an RV resort. There's a lot of difference between those three. Uh, an ambassador is a walking information booth. We uh, are truly to be like a concierge is at a five-star hotel. If you go to a hotel, a concierge will take care of you. They will answer any questions uh, that you have. Uh, you can expect them to look a certain way. As an ambassador, we are to look a certain way. You don't want to come to work with three-day whiskers on, and you don't want to come to work with a 20-year-old ball cap on. This smells like a 20-year-old ball cap. We want to look professional. We're representing Zeman Resorts. Uh, they've spent a lot of money. Uh, they value their customers. They spend a lot of money to make sure they have an enjoyable experience. And the least we can do as ambassadors is to present ourselves in the same professionalism that Zeman does. And uh, we're to have a nice smile on our face. Greet them like that's their best friend that you've been looking forward to see for the last 10 years and haven't seen them. Make them feel warm and welcome. Uh, I try to personally uh, know them, uh, their last name when they pull in. I, Hi, Mr. So-and-so, it's so glad to have you. Uh, and I, then I will mention his first name. And then if his uh, significant other is with him, I will mention their name. If they have any pets, I will ask them if they have any pets and I will recognize them. I'll, I'll, I'll just take some time to, to talk to, to uh, little Roscoe or whatever the dog's name is and scratch him under his chin. And, and uh, it just makes them feel like, wow, we've made it home. This. We've gotten home. This should be an experience that uh, this is their home away from home. They're going to spend, whether it's a day or they're going to be an annual, make them feel like this is truly a place they can call home. And we've done that. I feel like then we've done our job this as is an Susan. Ambassador. She's prepared our packet uh, for our arrival for the day. And uh, these ladies do a wonderful job preparing these and getting them ready for us. For our guests that come in on a daily basis, not only will they have our packets ready, they will have our arrival list and our departure list. And those are so important for us because the sooner we can get these fobs back to them, they can get another packet ready for another guest to go into that spot that these folks are just leaving. So uh, Susan does a wonderful job along with the other ladies here on the front desk. We're gonna go now over to the uh, gate building and show you what the next step is once uh, our day starts parking our beers. This is where our ambassadors meet and greet our guests as they're coming and have an opportunity at the out the gate that leaves for when they stop to see if they've enjoyed their stay and spend a few minutes with them talking with them how they like uh, their visit with us here at the tides now uh, the first thing that we do once we come in we've got our packet that we've been given and our arrival sheet we'll look at the arrival sheet and uh, see who is going to be here and uh, how many we have. Uh, and once we determine that, we make a list. We'll have a pad over here and we'll make a list of our arrivals sites, whether it's 283, site 27. Then our next step is after we find, get us a list of our arrival sites, we'll go over to this uh, uh, metal box that houses everything. We'll get our leaf blowers, we'll get our bucket, and we'll take these two out to the list of sites of our arrivals. 
and we'll go clean them. We'll blow all the leaves off of them, all the grass off of them. We'll get them nice and clean when they're opened up. Those are first impressions. If the uh, sewer drain is covered over with grass, we cut the grass around it. So we should never have, have to have one of our guests going out pull, uh, trying to get a sewer cap off of grass that's grown this much over the top of it. We literally, our job as ambassadors, to make sure that site is ready for that guest. They shouldn't have to do anything. That's our job. That's what we get paid for. And so once we do that, we get all of our sites clean. Then we come back around 9 o'clock, 9.30. We'll have our list, our arrival list. And then what I will do is I will sit down with my arrival list and I will, I will give them a call. We'll just say Mr. and Mrs. Jones are coming uh, are on our arrival list. And I will call them, put their number in, and I'll say, good morning, Mr. Jones. This is Rick Hendrickson at the Tides RV Resort. How are you today, sir? Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, uh, we're look I'm looking on our list and it looks like you're gonna be arriving uh, to be with us today. Can you give me some kind of an ETA when you think you might be arriving? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, you're, you're, you're at Camping World, okay, all right. About 2, 2, between 2 and 2.30, okay. Why don't we do this? Why don't we put you down for between 2 and 3 o'clock? I have personally gone out today, and I've cleaned your site, so it's all ready for you. And when you come in, I want you to come in on the right uh, side of our entrance, which would be the south side. And just come in that way and just pull up to the stop sign and stop. And I will either come out and greet you or one of the other ambassadors will. And then I will personally take you to your site and I'll personally park you. Yes, I'll be more than happy to. I understand. Yes, be more than happy to. Be a real easy experience for you. And uh, looking forward to it. We're looking forward to you folks being with us today. And you're going to be looking here about four days, correct? Okay. Do you have any pets? Great. Well, we have, we've got two pet parks. We've got one real close to where you uh, are going to be staying. And we have one adjacent on the other side of the park. Okay. Well, listen, you drive safely and uh, we'll be seeing you here in a few hours. Anything we can do between now and then, please feel free to call us here and ask for Rick and I'll be sure to take care of you. Okay. I, I, I'm here to serve you, my friend. Wonderful. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Before we get started today, uh, parking Tracy in his uh, RV spot, we want to make sure all gates are up and we have him over on the far, uh, south side so when he makes the turn, we don't have any obstacles that he'll have to deal with. Uh, if he had a, uh, a vehicle that he was towing, it takes a lot of room when you've got a 45 foot coach. And then if you put a, a, a RV, uh, not an RV, but a, a vehicle on the back of it, it takes a lot of room to make that bend. So we want to give him all the space we can possibly give him and get these gates open. So we're going to now head to his site. Hello, you must be Mr. Weekly. Yes, sir. Hi, Tracy. I'm Rick Hendrickson. Pleased to meet you, sir. Talked to you on the phone earlier today. Yes, sir. Susan with you? Oh, welcome, Susan. I'm Rick. You folks have any pets with you today? You have any pets? Okay, no pets. Okay, well what we're going to do is get your packet and uh, we're going to get you on down to your site. Uh, before we do, this is your first time here, I understand? Yes, it is. Okay, this is our clubhouse. Right on the other side of the clubhouse is our main swimming pool. We have our pickleball courts over here on our left and uh, our shuffleboard courts are right over there. On the back side of the swimming pool is our lake, which we're very proud of. I know you'll enjoy your stay here. I'll get your packet. Uh, got a beautiful coach. What's this, a 45 foot? 45 foot, Okay, it's what, 450 horsepower diesel? Very good. Nice coach. Well, we'll get you put in in just a matter of a few minutes. What we're going to do is use hand signs. I'm going to ask you if I turn, point that way to turn left or this way to turn right. This means to slow down. Does that make sense? Okay, and if we'll just go nice and slow, we'll get you in there in one shot, put you in on a dime. How's that sound? All right, we'll get started here in just a second.
We're going to make sure that when we're taking our guest in, we drive nice and slow. Uh, they want to take in the sights if this is their first time here. Not only that, but it's just good policy to drive as slowly as we can as we're taking, bringing units in and, and uh, getting them parked. No hurry. That's one thing RVers have a lot of problem with. They're so, uh, and it just seems to be the tendency. They want to hurry. They want to get it done quick, and that's not always the best policy. So taking these units in nice and slow is really, really imperative. Uh, the way that I learned how to do this, you can take four or five units that are on the same street, bring them in, and park them all with little or no confusion. Stop at the stop sign, and that'll let them know they need to stop at the stop sign. Now, as we're getting ready to turn right to get him in his right position at the uh, into the right uh, direction of his sight, we're going to bring out and come clear out here to the left and motion for him to follow me right out here. That way he can make this first turn and be right on line. Get the idea of how we want him to position himself. See, as you can see, he's following me just like I would. They will follow you exactly the way that you're going if you give them directions. He's taking the turn nice and wide. Doesn't have to be concerned about any uh, speed limit signs. We're going to stay on the correct side of the street now until we make uh, a couple more turns and then we'll get him on the opposite side of the street where he's going to need to be. to the far left so he can make a far right turn. They will always follow you uh, when they're coming in. So it's important that you as a uh, ambassador and spotter stay on the right line for these big 45 foot pushers. Now, as soon as he makes the corner, we're going to be right to the right side as far as we can go. And he's going to follow us. And we're going to go down to his site. Okay, as you can see, I'm bringing Tracy right down this seam, 12 to 18 inches off of the grass. We want to make sure he stays off the grass. There he goes. There you go. Now I've got him running, that right front tire running right down that seam. We're going to put him into site 161. So we're going to be bringing him all the way down until the tag axle of his coach is right with the grass. Come on down a little further, Tracy. You're doing great. Come right on. Come right on. Right there. Come right on. Come right on. Just another few inches. All right. We can stop right there. Now I'm going to ask Tracy to turn his steering wheel as far to the right as you can turn it. Keep your foot on the brake. Do not let it slide for every inch that you lose here, you're going to lose a foot on the back end. So as you're parking these, make sure they keep their foot on the brake and uh, it doesn't, what I call, slide or move any until you're ready for him to back up. So go ahead and turn it to the right as far as you can turn it. As far as you can turn it. Is that there, Tracy? All right. Now we're going to go nice and slow, okay? And just listen to my verbal command and I'll say right, left, straight. Okay, so we're going to keep going to the right till I tell you different, nice and slow. So let's begin our process of coming back. Very good. Nice and slow. You're on a great line. 
You're on a perfect line. Come right on back. Come right on back. Come right on back. Nice and slow. Come right on back. Now straighten your wheel up for me. There you go. Straighten it up some more. Right there. Now stop. Let's come on back a little more. Four more feet. Come right on back. You're doing great. Now turn it hard again. There you go. Come right on back. Very nice. Perfect line. Come right on back. Now straighten your wheel. Totally straighten up for me. There you go. Come right on back. Come right on back. Come right on back. Come right on back. Turn now as far as you can turn that way. To your right. There you go. We're almost on perfect line right now. Now straighten your wheel up. Straighten your wheel up. We're going to go straight back for about eight feet. Straight back. There you go. Come right on. Come right on. Come right on. Six more feet. Five more feet. Straighten it up a little bit more. There you go. Three more feet. Now turn it hard to your right. We're going to try to put you in right here. Come right on. Straighten it up a little more. Straighten it up a little more. Straighten it up. There you go. Straighten it up. There you go. Straighten it up. Straighten it up. There you go. Come right on back. 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 All right, Tracy, turn your wheel just a little bit to your right. Come right on back. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Straighten that wheel up. Let's go back about six feet. Excellent job, my friend. Stop. You can put it in park. What we want to make sure is we've got plenty of room three to four feet from the grass over. These slide outs are from 22 inches to the big slide outs, which are 30. Those that upper upper one is 22. This will be 30 to 36 inches. Our pads are 30 feet wide, and these sites over here are 64 feet long. We do have pads that are 30 feet wide that are 90 feet long, and we use those for these big pushers that are pulling a big you know, trailer behind them that may have a car in them, and we can accommodate those. We can pull them directly in and a pull in. We've got about uh, 15 sites that are pull in here at the tides, and uh, it really works good for our customers. They don't have to unhook them and then park and then find a place to put them, so, but, uh, as you can see, this was relatively easy. Uh, you have, just have to have a good eye to see where the back end is at all times. It, it makes it very easy for the uh, resident that's going to be with us. Uh, effortless. There's no pressure involved. Uh, they trusted my directions. And this is really what it all becomes. There's plenty of room on this side now for, for them to have two or three vehicles. Uh, so this is pretty much how you do on the back end one. Tire on this seam right here, 12 to 18 inches away from the grass. We're making sure there are no road signs, no obstacles, nobody parked, no bicycles that can be ran into. So he's doing a nice job of just driving it nice and slow for us. That's the key. And he's got over here on the far left where we want him to go into our pull-through site. Come right on, Tracy, you're doing great. Come right on. Nice and slow. There you go. Come right on. Come right on. Notice I'm bringing the front end of this right over the top of this grass. The very point, right over the grass. Because we want to make sure he's got plenty of room for those tag axles that are he's got behind. Perfectly lined, perfect. Come right on, Tracy, you're doing a great job. Come right on. Just like you are, perfect. Just like you are. Now you can turn it to your right. 
I'll tell you when to stop. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. There you go. Right there. Now straighten your wheel up. Give her nice and straight for me. Come straight. There you go. Now come straight toward me. Nope. There you go. Right there. Straight toward me. There you go. Come right on. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, stop right there. Now we have him a perfect distance, plenty of room for his slide out. He's in total alignment with his sewer trap and his utilities. I'm going to have you come on out now, Tracy. Put it in park. Come right on. I'll go over the uh, pedestal with you. Here's our, our 30 and 50 amp services. Over here is your water supply, and over here is your cable. Uh, we have uh, our uh, second pool and our weight room and laundromat is two blocks straight through there. If you had a pet, there's a pet park over there also. And uh, down at the end of this street, uh, it makes a little jog, but down on the far east side, we have a designated laundromat and uh, okay. restroom. So Excellent. those are, are, are there for your use. Okay, this is your packet. Uh, this is a fob that'll get you into all the facilities here. Okay. You'll notice a little box by the door. Just wave it in front of them, and the okay. doors will open. For Same way for the swimming pool. Anything you want to use, the pickleball courts, that works the same way. Okay. Right here is a uh, map of the facility. Tells you all the amenities that we have. And then right there is one page. Just fill that out at your convenience, like I said, and take it up to the office later on this afternoon. Give it to one of our office staff. You'll probably recognize one of them that talked to you on the phone about your reservation. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Once again, my name is Rick. I'm your ambassador. We're here. I try to serve the same thing that a, uh, a concierge would do at a five-star hotel. We're here to help you, serve you, anything we can do. I'm supposed to be a, a uh, walking information booth. That's what they say an ambassador is. So that's what we want to be able to do for you and answer any questions. And if you need any assistance on anything, feel free to check in at the gatehouse. I'll be there. Well, hey, we'll just take care of you, okay? okay. Perfect. Well, thank you nice to meet so you, much. folks. Nice thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, Rick. Nice. As you can see, Rick Hendrickson, along with all of our signature RV Resort brand ambassadors, are here to assist you upon your arrival. If you have any questions or need help at any time during your stay with us, our brand ambassadors and clubhouse staff are here to make sure your stay is truly a pleasure. To learn more about signature RV Resorts by Seaman, or check out our other Florida locations, please visit www.SiemensSignatureRVResorts.com.